Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this TypeScript video tutorial, we will learn about the classes. So uh, these are the points that we are going to learn in this video. We will see how we can define the classes, how we can create the objects for classes, how we can make the properties, functions and how we can define the data types for functions, properties as well as the parameters. So maybe there is a first question is that why we are using the classes in the TypeScript because a TypeScript is the object oriented programming and object oriented programming strictly follow the classes and objects way that's why we used it and uh, there is uh, some advantage of the class uh, pattern also like uh, it provide the really really good uh, code wrapping so that a specific module can be work inside a class and we can just separate this module the different different file for example we are just making a user curd operation so that we can just make a class user and we can put the different different functions inside that so let's say we are just making a admin so that we can make a class for the admin we, we can make a class for the students and all right so it provides a different different type of module and code is really uh, manageable and we can say that uh, there is a no mess inside the code which is the, really a problem with the previously with the normal javascript all right so i will just uh, make the classes inside the ts and i will show you that how this converted code uh, look like in the js file also so now let's open the ts file and this is our previous code which is the uh, how we can just make the functions and all if you just want to watch this video link is given in the description box so i'm just going to clean it and let's open the terminal we need the two terminal one for uh, typescript compilation so just write here typescript compile and app dot ts minus minus watch and here we can just write here node app dot js uh, file there is a no code that's why there is an output also all right so just define a class and uh, my class name can be a uh, app because this is uh, same as the app.ts file name this is not mandatory but this is a recommended way way so now let's define a property so let's say my property name can be a name and uh, it has some values like peter is the name and this is the way that how we can define the property and we never use here let and war and const because uh, they are not going to work inside a class right so now let's use the function so we can use make a function like get name and it will just return something like return uh, this dot name all right and in the class side we never need to define a function like this all right so this is not going to work we have to just define the function like this so we seen that okay just remove it we seen that how we can make the property how we can make the functions so now let's see how we can make the object and call it so i am just going to make a object of it like a1 is the new app so this is the instance of our class and let's call it console dot one or console dot log a1 dot uh, get name so now you will you can see that we are able to print uh, okay just call it one. now you can see that we are able to print the name of peter inside the function right we can directly call the property also if we just want like name the output will be the same this all right so now let's see how we can make the constructor so for the constructor as you know the constructor is called every time whenever we are just making uh, any object for our class so just you can console dot one you can just write something here like constructor is called like this right so now let's try now you can see that constructor is called then peter is calling here right so if you just want to pass some values inside the constructor then we can just pass pass the values from here like peter parker right and uh, we can just get the values from here like dot name and here we can assign the value let's say we don't have any value in the name property 
so we can just simply use here this dot name is name uh, the, this means this class and this uh, this name define the this property right so now let's see now you can see that Peter Parker is returned from here so uh, we seen that how we can make the constructor function properties and object so how we, we can define the data type for the properties and functions right so I can just simply define here like uh, number right so now you can see that this is the way to how we can just define the number and uh, if you just want to uh, want to define the type string then this is also possible here right so let's say I just define a number here and I just want to assign here like hello then it will just give me an error that hello cannot be assigned inside the number right so string is better because we are just saying the name here and name always be in a string after that we can also define the uh, uh, type to the parameter also like this if I'm just going to make here number then it will just give me error because here I'm just going to pass here string and I cannot make a number and boolean this is not possible that's why let's define a string so the data type is also possible for a function so if I am just going to put here uh, boolean then it will just give me the error because uh, we are just passing the um, string here right so I just have to define here string only if I just want to define and at the last thing maybe we don't uh, want to just uh, uh, you can see that we don't want to return something so I just make a uh, even dot get name and uh, I don't want to return something here just I want to console here console dot one that how I can do it like this dot name that time we can use here void that's me that means this is no, uh, going to nothing to return here all right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care